here we are once again doing another review today we're going to be reviewing dragon ball super episode 35 this one looked like it was going to be a great uh episode uh the last preview episodes were were real real crazy i did not expect the outcome that, that was already happening if you have not seen those pause this video spoiler alert or watch those come back so basically what happened is the guy Frost, the one that looks like Frieza, had already taken out Goku, had already taken out Piccolo, and now he's fighting Vegeta. But right before he was about to fight Vegeta, they found out that he has like a little tool in his wrist, a little needle that injects poison and makes the, uh, his opponent sick. So they were going to disqualify him for this. Vegeta wasn't having it because obviously he looks just like frieza and he was not having it at all you know you know vegeta wants to destroy frieza always has always will so since uh since the movie he didn't really get that opportunity to do that so i think what they're trying to do is set it up to you know this is his opportunity now they were going to disqualify him he said no i'm not going to have any of that it's not going to be what's going down here so basically, they they get headed up, right? They get lined up like they're gonna go at it. And uh, if you remember, um, uh, just before the tournament, the cell tournament, when all the the fighters are lining up to, to hit the little bag to see how strong they were, so they can match each other up. Everybody was hitting that little bag, and they were getting a few hundred hit points or whatever. And of course, Vegeta walks up. Never, definitely never knows how to hold back. And he just one shots that thing, shoots him straight through the building. You know, that's why you gotta love this guy. He don't even care. He doesn't care what anyone thinks. He's just gonna go all out. That's what happened here. He powers up, the you know, Super Saiyan. Does not go blue. Mine does not go blue. But it does go Super Saiyan. Now, basically, what happens is this guy's coming right at him, talking about he's a killer. I'm saying, if, 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 Pulling out cheap tactics is, is, is what is okay now. He's gonna do it all. He's gonna end Vegeta. What ends up, actually ends up happening is Vegeta one shot. It's a bam, one shot. Shoots him into the barrier. Now, the barrier breaks and there's a hole in it. Now, it looks like he shoots out of the barrier, but then it cuts to where he lands inside the barrier. So I'm thinking maybe he just ricocheted. Knocks him out cold, the end done. So then, um, they go back and they check Goku for the the little hole in his arm. They find it. You know what I'm saying they bring him back. So he's in a fight after Vegeta. You know what I'm saying, of course, they had to try to find a way to bring back Goku. You know, this whole show is based on Goku, it centers around Goku. He's the main character. So. Vegeta goes up and they implement a new rule. There's a new rule you have to have uh, a second barrier, a square one around and it limits the, the amount of space in this barrier. That's because this new guy, oh my his name right here, Magetta is a robot, right? And uh, when he jumps down, he has this little cup and he's like drinking lava. So he's a robot drinking lava. They get in there. And uh, they start going at it, right? They start fighting. And, and what you soon start to realize is the matter or the more agitated the machine gets with all the lava inside, the hotter it gets, the stronger he gets, the faster it gets, everything. Um, so basically, Vegeta finds a way that, you know, being on the ground is not where he wants to be at with this guy because he's in fast for trouble. He takes to the air, obviously. You know what I'm saying? Because the guy can't fly. Now, he weighs like a billion pounds. So I don't know exactly how much he weighs, but when he jumped onto the stage, the stage tipped. So he weighs a lot. So he has speed and brute strength. But he has no flying ability. But if, he t if Vegeta touches the barrier that they have, they put up he's out of bounds so basically it limits his flying so this is basically 
geared towards Magetta's abilities. Now, Vegeta sees this and starts to shoot some fire at him. You know, like Vegeta always does, goes all out, starts shooting fucking uh, uh, energy balls at him. This dude starts shooting lava out of his mouth, spitting, 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 spitting. What does Vegeta do? Turns it up. That dude turns it up more and more and more. And that's basically the end right there, the end of the episode. And what you start to see is that uh, in the in the upcoming previews is that Vegeta is starting to sweat. Now I don't know if it's only because this is an enclosed area, it's a small box, so the heat is build, building up. But also because of the heat and of the lava, it might be sucking a lot of the oxygen up. So it might be depleting the oxygen in the arena. I'm not sure if the cartoon is that detailed, that in depth, but that would have a factor. So that's basically what happened. Can't wait for this next one. It, I don't know. I don't know if Vegeta doesn't do. Might go Super Saiyan 2. You know, you, you never know. It did look like maybe Vegeta was going to try the Kamehameha Blast. Not sure. That would be crazy. Because you know how proud he is. But we'll have to see. So, till next time, you know, make sure to like, share, subscribe, put a comment down below. What do you think will happen? What's your favorite part about this? And, um, and what you didn't like about it? I didn't like the box, but I understand, you know, you gotta play towards the enemy's favor. It is what it is. All right, till next time, see you then.